It's Arcage 101 with Jalan. I don't know if I should be calling this Arcage 101 because this is only going to be on Arcage Unchained, but since I'm the guy that makes the class, I'm going to call it Arcage 101. I'm ready to get started. My usual fans know something's missing. Haha, <laughs> there we go. All right, let's jump right into this. We are going to give you the pedigree stuff right at the beginning. I know a lot of people like just about a two minute, too long, didn't watch version. So here you go. Your release date is going to be 30 September. That's when 6.0 is coming to Legacy. That's when we're going to get the new servers. Uh, it's important to know there is going to be a land claim lockout. I know a lot of people always get nervous when Arcage launches in the middle of a week. They're like, well, I won't get land. They're going to do what they did the last couple of times. The land, you won't be able to place any land until Saturday. Now, interesting enough, the build we're going to be on is the 6.0 build. There's going to be no progression, no blockouts, no slow roll. It's literally going to be jump in at 6.0 off to the races. This is also going to include the new skill tree. So that is going to be very interesting to see. Uh, not only are we getting a new build, we're getting a new skill tree. We're also getting that 64-bit client. So a lot of people that had performance issues in the past with Arcage, this is a really big kind of do-over for Gamigo and really their first time putting out new servers. I do want to say that the game will be available on Steam, not as a Steam exclusive. You'll be able to use your Glyph Launcher like you can with all the other try-on products, but there are players who play via Steam. You'll be able to do that. They are planning to have two to four servers in both regions, and this is a pretty big goal. Uh, I will say that just my content is generating thousands of uh, views, so I know there are a lot of people stoked about Arcage. And I will say that in the past, the team that's at Tryon has demonstrated the ability to have servers prepped in the background. So expect to see probably two or three servers at go time. And then if everything's completely swamped and saturated, uh, expect them to bring on extras. Now, speaking of servers, I know the South American player base has wanted servers for a long time. Got to remember, Tryon only had the North American and the European distribution rights. Gamigo is interested in being able to put a South American server into existence. They just can't do it this time around. Give you the rest of this real quick. Remind you guys, it is a one-time buy to play. $20 is the uh, unofficial rumor. I don't have a direct citation. There are going to be founders packs. We're going to view those in a second. There's no head start, no early access. Everyone's going to start at the same time. And then the new monetization model is ARC passes. Um, there's a premium one for $10, which means there's no subscription anymore. Everybody can own land. Everybody's a patron. Everybody gets the labor regen. Ev everyone's equal. And then the big one, no pay to win. They're saying that there's not going to be any pay to win. And I'm going to say my first response is to say, yeah, right. We've heard this before. Anyone who's watched Arcage 101, watched me on stream, watched my videos, you know that there's no love loss between the former Tryon staff and myself. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all that previous stuff to the side. I liked what I saw during today's live stream, and I want to do my best to support Arcage. So I'm a, I'm, the past is the past. Today is August 30th. Today is a new day. It's a new company. I've had several good conversations with people like Gamigo. They've demonstrated their willingness to do the right thing, especially with the mount, bait, and switch and making that right. So I want to say, let's listen to what Krolin has to say before we make any judgments. But I have to say, everybody on my team, um, you know, my two friends here included, all the guys back at home have been working their asses off to <laughs> go through everything with a fine tooth comb to identify the things that have been the most painful and remove them for the Unchained version. And so over the forthcoming weeks, as we work our way towards release, you guys will see that on the live streams. You'll see that in our communications to you. Um, if you feel a certain way about the stuff that we present, please let us know. We are extremely receptive to your feedback at this point, and we are ready to make the changes to make you happy as our dedicated Arc Age players. All right, that sounds great. And then we take a look at these founders packs and we're like, okay, game access, character creation, name reservation, expansion scrolls, titles, uh, okay. 800 credits, 2,000 credits, 5,000 credits. What? Why, why do we have credits? 
I know a lot of people right now, your first response is to hit that red X in the corner. Please don't do that. Give me two more minutes, maybe a little more. Let me walk through a couple of things. So the new monetization model is this arc pass system. And what this is, is it's going to be a menu in game that is going to unlock dailies. Now you'll see some rewards in there, but I'm going to read over those. I'm going to say that's a sample. Don't judge these yet. They didn't show us the real ones. Uh, I don't want people to think the premium rewards are Guild of Stars. We don't know how it's going to work. We just know that every player has access to this for the basic rewards column. It unlocks daily quests, and this is good because it's going to draw people in the game. There's going to be things to do. Hopefully, they've got this tweaked right that's going to sort of motivate people to spend all their time in Arcage because there's 45 levels, and you want to unlock all of your levels because then you're going to earn Diligence Coins. And Diligence Coins can only be earned on the basic path. A big concern people had was, oh, well, if there's going to be more stuff on the premium rewards, it's going to create a distance between people who do the monthly sub, the arc pass, and people who don't. The, the diligence coins are only on the basic path. And so with that, there's a diligence coin store for things like mounts, gliders, expansion scrolls. Now, I don't talk about it anywhere else in the video, but this isn't the only place you can get mounts and gliders. The Mana Storm Crystal system is still in existence. And I'm sure we're going to visit that uh, a little bit down the road. Now, talk about the premium arc pass. This is going to be $10 per season, and it's going to offer premium rewards. Again, ignore the premium rewards on the screen. That's why sample is over it. These are going to be cosmetic rewards. And more details are going to come with this as we see it. I know we're, I know we're 30 days out, but they're doing live streams every Friday from now till launch. Now, one interesting thing was that uh, Gamigo is willing to go through and remove the questionable. I have another soundbite I want you to listen to uh, because I think it's good that they explain it for themselves because they're the only ones that can see it. But they are definitely aware that we, the player base, don't like some stuff and they are willing to make some changes. The items that are going to be in that premium reward track are cosmetic in nature. We're not even putting things like expansion scrolls or any of that stuff. I was reading Discord earlier and I saw some of the comments about that. All of those things are in the diligent shop. And I, I have to confer to you that we will lay that out in front of you and you can pick us apart and tell me the things that you don't like. We'll move that crap out of there. Our goal is to just give you guys cosmetics. Um, so call me out when you see that. All right, so let's get back to those credits. And uh, there is a marketplace, and I have that underlined. I want people to understand there is a marketplace. There is no apex. So the largest source of pay to win is gone. There are no labor pots. There are no tax certs. There are no mounts or gliders in the cash shop. There are no boosters. There are boosters in the diligence shop, but everyone's equal in that. There are no RNG boxes, okay? If you want a costume out of the huge wardrobe of Arcage costumes, you can buy it directly. So what's gonna be in that uh, marketplace? You're gonna get stuff like salon certificates, dye tickets, gender swap tickets, crest brainstorms. Now I've got one more audio clip I wanna splice in from the stream, and this is gonna be where they talk about the cash shop specifically. We're not introducing things in the marketplace like the pajamas that increase labor regeneration while sleeping. Um, we're not, we don't have building management certificates in there. We do have things like um, salon certificate. We have, uh, you know, maybe dye tickets. We have gender swap tickets. I don't know. I'm coming up with the stuff off the top of my head. Crest brainstorms, those sorts of things are in the cash up. So when you see the founders packs and you see the credits that are associated with that, these are the items that will be available for you. All of that other stuff that is sort of is even in the gray area of could this provide an advantage, even boosts. Boosts are completely moved to the diligence token shop. So all of that stuff is out of the cash shop. Yeah. All right. So what I need everybody to do is I know Gamigo is going to be looking for a lot of feedback. Those items must all be bound. Now, what I am going to give Crowland props for is he did mention that they are aware that if there is no Apex, then something else will just become Apex. That's why all of that cash shop stuff all has to be bound. If they make everything bound, then it doesn't matter how much money you spend. You don't have the ability to trade any of it off for gold. 
Now, I know the other huge concern for people, the other huge concern for people is Alt Age. Arc Age has always been a game that's been dominated by alts. And what you are now allowed is you are allowed to have three Arc Age Unchained accounts. You will not be permitted to multi-box. Now, I got some skepticism here. Try to stop the players, and I hope you can. And I know sometimes I don't, you know, it doesn't sound like I'm being sincere. So literally, hashtag no sarcasm. I want you to figure out a way how to stop players from multi-boxing because I was able to multi-box at the very beginning when Hack Shield was there. Hack Shield was running, and I could still multi-box. And it only stops people from running multiple instances on one machine. I have seven gaming computers in the closet over the years of upgrades. They all can run ArcAge. So I, I want to know why you're addressing the multi-box thing. If you make everything bound and nothing tradable, then uh, that's going to really limit down the usefulness of alts. And Gamigo has said they've asked Excel to make all the cosmetics bind on pickup. If all your cosmetics are bind on pickup, you can't spend $10 a month, get that extra uh, premium arc pass, and then sell off the costumes. That's actually a huge step in the right direction. Because if I can't trade you extra costumes, or I can't earn extra costumes to sell them, then there's less pay to win. Now, there... Alts will become a bit of a problem with housing. And what I'm going to say is because I like to make sure that everything's even across the board. Uh, you buy a second account to hold your land. You do nothing with it but make tech certificates. I mean, there's that, that should be pretty much common knowledge. I don't think I've let any cats out of the bag. I, I think pretty much everybody would have figured that one out. If you didn't figure that out, well, then congratulations. You add a second account. You make a family with it. You you own your land. Uh, I will say that the NAEU cross-region money-making scheme uh, with no apex, this means that a lot of this goes down because why are you going to go earn money on another server? Um, it, it It's really kind of a waste of time. Uh, there are still some ways to do it. I'm not going to go into those because those shouldn't be as apparent. Uh, it is a problem, and I I know the team at uh, Gamigo, the former ArcAge team from Tryon, they know this stuff because we've had conversations about it. Uh, I am going to talk a couple other things about the game in general. I want to talk about the trade system, and is there going to be a reversion to the previous version of the trade system? Now, I know a lot of people think that it's just plug and play, pull out one, put in the other. It's really not how that works. Uh, believe it or not, according to Gamigo, not everybody hates the new system. Uh, I would like to meet those people. But, I mean, I have talked to a couple of people in my channels or my comments. And they don't hate the new system. Uh, XL is actually discussing changes to the trade system. The Korean players provide feedback that says, we don't really like this system or we don't like it as much. So, I think that if they're willing to move to a buy-to-play version... I think that indicates that they're doubling down on ArcAge. I did mention in another video that they revamped the Elf starting area. So it's not like they've forgotten about ArcAge or they're just bare manning it. They're, they're putting some effort into it. And the last one, the crime points. I know this is a huge thing for the PvPers and they're like, it sucks because I can't flag on people and I can't kill people. There are changes coming to the system in 6.0 and they're open to the possibility of changing it more. And this is where you need to be vocal in the forums with good feedback. And when I say the forums, I don't just mean the official forums. I mean any forum, any platform that you can give them feedback. But what I need from people is to learn how to draft your feedback. The crime system sucks is bad feedback. Yeah, you think it sucks, but the Care Bear that knows you're going to jail after one kill, he thinks it's great. So one for one, you haven't done anything. What looks like better feedback is something like this. The penalty for one kill is too high, should be reduced by at least 50%, if not more. 10 may have been too little. 10 infamy may have been too little, but 50 is way too much. That lets the developers know, okay, you're willing to accept that 10 may have been too little. Now, I know some of you are out there are like, there shouldn't be a crime system. I should never go to jail. I should be able to kill whoever I want. You're one polar extreme. Realize for every one of you, there's one on the other side of the polar extreme. Let's bring these in. The other side of the polar extreme says, I should never be able to be killed if I don't want to die. Well, that doesn't work either. 
So provide better feedback. Where are you unhappy? What would make you happy? What would make you really happy? That's just a better way to, you know, voice your opinion. All right, guys, and that is it for the live stream recap. I will be doing these every week because they're going to be doing weekly live streams. So I'm going to knock out uh, as much new information as I can get you. I will be jumping back into Arcage 101, the 2019 edition. I'm actually going to spin off um, another one, and I'm going to do Arcage Unchained 101 um, because there's going to be a lot of differences between uh, Arcage and Arcage Unchained. With especially with the acquisition of materials, the paths, and all that. But if it's been a few years since you played Arcage, uh, definitely check out Arcage 101. The link is in the description below. There are a lot of radically different things that have been coming out since 5.0 and 5.3. Uh, even I got to jump into it. I've been playing a lot of other games lately. I got to get back to my Arcage roots. If you guys need to talk more, I'm Jalan, hashtag 0001 on Discord. I also run my own Discord. You can jump in there. There's a lot of friendly people that will answer your Arcage questions. And then I will see you guys next week after they do the next live stream. We will do another live stream recap. Take care. What are you still doing here? Nobody ever stays this long. This is the end screen. Well, since you're here, there's a couple other videos I think you should check out. And all those names... Those are my patrons over at Patreon. I couldn't do this without them. So, big thanks to them for all their support.